In this video, I want to talk about what makes Vora Method homework help and academic tutoring the most effective program of its kind. Let me start off by saying this. If you're looking for that classic homework help program where you meet with a tutor a few times a week, work on your, on your assignments, and, and get ready for any quizzes or tests, we can totally offer that. We offer that in pretty much every subject. That's very easy for us to do. Just email learn at voramethod.com. We'll set that up. Uh, but I want to talk about a program, our program that we do in our group classes that is in, in many ways for many classes is as effective as tutoring and sometimes even a little bit more effective than tutoring. First, I want to describe the problem. Here's the problem that we see from so many incoming students that much like this frog, they're simply hopping from one subject to the, to the next, one topic to the next, and forgetting everything as they go. For example, in a math class, they'll learn this week's material, short-term memorize this week's material, suffer through the quiz, forget all of it. Then learn next week's material, suffer through that quiz, again, forget all of it. So this, this memori short-term memorize, suffer through the quiz, forget it. And over time, even if a student's doing very well in the quizzes, they're not really learning the material. They end up doing not so well on tests, terribly exams, and even worse on standardized tests, and you'll see this huge gap, the big gap, you want to see the huge gap usually between the quiz grades and the standardized test scores. You'll see a massive discrepancy there. And that's happening because the student has not really learned the subject at all. And so in our VOR method group classes, we completely fix that in, in basically three phases. Let's go over Slack. In, in the first phase of this process, we, we are going to address any underlying gaps. And that means we're going, to, if you're taking algebra, but you don't know how to say add fractions, we're gonna fix that first. Let's say you're doing calculus, but you don't really know how to solve a basic two-step equation, we're gonna address that first. So whatever the prerequisites are, we're gonna fix all of those. That process can take you know, two hours, it can take 20 hours, it just depends on how many gaps there are. The next phase is the, is the biggest and most important phase, and that's where we're going to build the core understanding of that subject. Now, during this, the diagnostic phase and this core phase, the student doesn't really get to pick the subtopic that they're working on. They can say, I want to work on algebra. They can say, I want to work on calculus. But we're going to decide what the student needs to work on by closely analyzing the student's problem solving, by really diagnosing and figuring out all, out, out all the underlying issues and may, using our experience and judgment to pick the best training material for that student. In the second phase, we are building the core understanding of that subject. And this is where we really work to prevent this. We're not gonna let the student jump from random topic, one topic to another. We are going to make 100% sure that the student has truly learned the subject. I'm going to give you a few examples of how we do that. One, of course, is through our responsive worksheet. Let's say you're doing calculus and you have forgotten how to do basic equations. No problem. We'll give you a worksheet on basic equations. If you forget again, we'll give you the same worksheet again. And we can really repeat things as often as needed to make sure that that understanding becomes permanent. But we have a few additional tricks up our sleeve. I'll go ahead and give an example here. Let's say that a student is working on this problem. And let's say they struggle with it. We're not going to just, let's say they struggled with it and eventually figure, out, figure it out. We're not going to just let it slide. We're going to turn it into a review question. And here's the golden part. At the beginning of every single class, the student is going to go through all review questions to make sure that all that understanding is becoming permanent. We don't want this. We don't want hopping from one thing to the next and then forgetting everything. We want permanent long-term understanding. So with this, with this process, we make sure that the student is reviewing anything they struggle with. Now, once a student, it seems that a student has figured the problem out, has gotten comfortable with it, then we're going to automatically turn that into a pop quiz question. 10% of the time, in 10% of your classes, that question will come up. So it won't be every class the way a review question works. It'll come up 10% of the time. That way we're making sure that over time it's becoming just more and more part of your permanent long-term understanding. In other words, we're not going to give the student the option to just forget it. We're going to make 1,000% sure that the student maintains and builds 
their understanding, not just learns a thing, forgets it, learns the next thing, forgets it. We don't want the frog thing. We want permanent, long-term building of understanding. We have a few other tricks up our sleeve. We Here's a, a technique, one of our recent additions. This weird looking font is called Sans Forgetica. It was de designed by researchers at RMIT in Australia. Their, their goal was to make a font that would really just make something stick in your mind. We use this to make sure that some of the core concepts don't get forgotten. One of the most common issues that we see is that when students are sitting there learning some small topic, forgetting it, learning the next, forgetting that they never really learned the big giant principles. This is something we might use in a calculus class, reminding students that the derivative tells you the slope of the tangent line. That's fundamental to calculus. If you don't get that, it doesn't matter how many tiny little formulas you memorize. The big things matter more than the little things in any conceptual subjects, any math subject, a science, you know, economics, anything that's built on concepts. You need to know what the main concepts are above anything else. Now, once we've built that, we've chosen the right order, we've, we've analyzed what the student's doing, we've constantly adapted. Once we've built that core understanding, once we've worked with that student, the students built that core understanding, what do we do next? Now we give the students some say in what they study. The student can choose at this point the specific subtopic. So they can say in algebra, well, now I want to work on you know, solving a system of equations by substitution. It's totally fine because they're not jumping from topic to topic anymore. They've actually built an understanding of algebra and they're adding to that, that information. The, we still don't let students bring in specific questions from homework. We only do that private tutoring, but the student can pick the general topic. There are many reasons that we don't let the, let the student just bring in random questions from, from school, and, but one of the biggest ones is we're not trying to encourage that the practice of just kind of keeping up with school. That's not what we, what we want at all. We want you to be months, even years ahead of your school. So we don't want something where you're just kind of keeping pace and catching up. No, we want you to be far ahead. So specific homework problems should be the easiest thing you ever do in your class. You should be working to get far, far ahead of your class, far ahead of your peers. And, and that's what, 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 what we use this method to do. Now, Sometimes, though, you will have an unusual question or you might want some some one on one tutoring on something and you can schedule that whenever uh, we don't have minimums, so you don't have to have you don't have to sign up for a bunch of tutoring sessions. In fact, you don't even have to do a full hour if you don't want to. You can do a 20 minute half hour sessions. Now, sometimes they don't they don't necessarily work that well, but there will be situations where you totally get a subject. And you just need a little bit of help on one question. You might only need a 10, 15 minute session. And that is something that that we're totally able to to accommodate in our program. If you're looking for regular style tutoring, we can totally do that, but we can also give you something that's going to cost less because you can do a lot of it in the group class and give you actually better results because it's going to lead to a long-term thorough understanding that's going to put you light years ahead of your competition.